One of the problems that California has is our infrastructure is falling apart. And the way we see it is, it's not just about a lack of funding that we receive from the federal government. I mean, on average, I think it's 94 cents on the dollar that we receive in funding uh, from the federal excise taxes that we pay. We put gas into our car, we pay federal tax for that. On each gallon of gas, we get about 94 cents on the dollar for that. But that's not really the only thing at stake here. A lot of it has to do with the fact that we here in California have a different culture that we fundamentally believe in a clean environment and we want to combat climate change. And so as a result, we have clean car legislation and we are promoting the idea that Californians should uh, use vehicles that are more fuel efficient. As a result, our revenue from gas taxes overall is declining as cars become more and more fuel efficient. So what we believe we should do is not just try to restore the revenue we receive from gasoline taxes, but perhaps pursue other options. And I know that one thing that they're talking about is, is uh, taxing uh, by the mile that we drive, as opposed to by the gas that we pay for. And so what we could consider doing is getting rid of the excise tax on gasoline and uh, implementing instead a tax per mile driven and the reason that would be important is because we would be able to sustain revenue to build our infrastructure. But then again, it goes back to that whole issue about the fact that we're losing, we're losing $26 billion a year to the federal government in taxes. And if we can keep that here in California, we could use that money to rebuild our roads and our highways and our dams and other infrastructure that's falling apart in this state. And we just don't have the money. And we don't have the money because it's being taken from us. And if we can keep it here, under the parameters of California being a country, then we can we can do the things that we want to do.